Let's now talk about something else that's happening around the country. Apart from the exams going on right now, this drought situation, it's a hunger crisis happening in 23 counties. The numbers are looking so bad. The number of Kenyans facing starvation has risen from 2.8 million to 3.1 million in the last three months, affecting some 23 counties. So according to the government, the number is projected to rise even further to 3.5 million by June 2022. Seven counties, among them Marsabit, Wajir, Isiolo, Samburu, Baringo, Turkana, and Mandera are in the alarm phase, with 10 counties being in the alert phase. The drought situation, which has been attributed to poor short rains, has killed more than 1.5 million livestock worth hundreds of millions of shillings. In the parched landscape of Mandera County, residents count losses. Jutting ribs and shriveled hides tell the story of death. Hundreds of their livestock felled by heat and hunger. It is pure sorrow for both men and livestock. Mandera County is among seven counties categorized in the drought alarm phase, with the others being Marsibit, Wajir, Isiolo, Samburu, Baringo, and Turkana counties. More than 300,000 Mandera residents are among the 3.1 million Kenyans who are currently facing starvation in some 23 counties. This number having risen from 2.8 million in December 2021. It is projected that this number will rise to 3.5 million by June 2022 as the country is yet to experience adequate short rains which are expected to ease the situation. Ten counties among them Garissa, Kilifi, Kwale, Lamu, Laikipia, West Pokot, Meru, Nyeri, Taraka Nithi and Kitui have been categorized in the alert phase, which means without much support to mitigate the drought effect, then the situation will worsen. Fifteen counties are reported to have pure pasture condition, with the affected counties recording below average in milk production, a situation that has also led to the death of 1.5 million livestock worth over 22.5 billion shillings. Eight counties have registered higher proportion of children at risk of malnutrition due to drought. The government says it has made interventions by providing relief food, cash transfers, livestock feeds, commercial and slaughter takeoffs, although there is need to have more resources to combat the situation. I want you to assure Kenyans, no Kenyans has died. No Kenyans has died out of the ongoing drought. And the government is also determined to ensure that no Kenyan dies from the ongoing drought because the systems are in place, the coordination has been perfected. The government needs over 10 billion shillings to mitigate the effects of the drought with food and safety nets for those affected in 23 counties amounting to 7.2 billion shillings while non-food interventions in 23 counties and 15 counties at high risk requiring 3.1 billion shillings. Despite the weatherman predicting above normal rainfall in some of the affected areas between March and May, the government says it may not necessarily lead to immediate recovery in local livelihoods.